Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this quick tutorial in Illustrator, I'm going to show you how to create a, a spiky brush. Now you can create, of course, a spiky brush in many different ways, but I'm going to use the Astute Graphics Subscribe plugin. It's a free plugin, a very useful free plugin, and I'm just going to quickly show you how to create brush using that tool. Just going to go over to, and here's the plugin before I go any further. There's a selection of new icons that appear here and the one I'll be using is actually line perpendicular from path very useful one and I'm just gonna just select the line tool and just quickly apply it of course you could set whatever stroke you want at this point I'm just gonna go with basically a nine point stroke and now one good thing about this you can of course create standard lines like that but uh, the one good thing about this tool and I'm just going to go and select it line perpendicular is it just quickly creates it without really much to do and very you just randomly create different lines going from that path very quick and easy and you can just do it now the other direction other way down just going to quickly do that continue down there are lots of other features in the astute graphics uh, subscribe like I say it's a free plugin it's available via their website and very useful tool and I'm just going to now go to the uh, here and now just move that out of the way and I'm going to select <coughs> the entire path here and I'm going to use the good old width profile I'm just going to select that and that's the one to use that's a very nice tool and of course you can change the size at this point you can actually go for say 16 expand and I'm just going to group those now I've done that I can just drag that over to the brushes palette and I'm going to select art brush click OK and just remove that quickly and I'm just going to select just a standard thing and I'm just going to quickly apply and uh, quick and easy way of creating a spiky brush in Illustrator um, CS6, CS5 as well as CC let's say the plugins free so uh, I would suggest pop over to the Astute Graphics website to check that out. If you want some more additional brushes, you can find many brushes on the graphicextras.com website.